Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting tour and that is a 2020 Lexus GX 460. Now, I am doing a used vehicle because it's the only one I could get my hands on, but I want to let you know that this body style has been around since 2010. It is still the current body style as of 2022. There were just some interior upgrades in the 22 model, but as far as like the car seat setup and the spacing is concerned, it is the same vehicle. So I'm going to say this tour is pretty applicable for someone driving for a used or a new Lexus. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the Carm. I review cars for moms and for families. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment below about which car I should tour next. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with our exterior and let's take a look at the front end grill. Here's my thing with the front end. Here's my thing with the body style. I love pieces of it. I feel as though they, like, they threw everything in the kitchen sink at it though. There's kind of like a lot going on. I feel the same way about the LX570. It's just kind of busy up here. So we've got this really like intricate grill. I do love the beautiful Lexus logo. And then we have a ton of hood lines, some like really aggressive angles right here, kind of into our fog lights and our daytime running lights. The TED lights are actually pretty simple, which I kind of appreciate because there's so many other lines going on. I just feel like I would love to like seeing this be cleaned up and just feel a little bit more cohesive. It just feels a little like, it feels a little choppy to me. If we move along to our side profile, I actually love the height of the vehicle and I love the size of the exterior. We'll talk about some things I don't like about the size of the car in a minute, but I actually do prefer a taller car, especially as a taller driver. So I like the idea of this car being a little bit bigger. I think it kind of makes you feel like you're driving a little bit less of like, what's the word? Like the typical like mom mobile, I guess, and kind of driving something like a little bit more fun, a little bit more adventurous. So I do like the height of the vehicle. We've got some great chrome around it. We've got chrome on the door handles, chrome on the windows, a chrome roof rail. Love the running boards, again. One, to spot your children at the park. Two, just because I think it kind of gets that, like, that rugged look, which is like, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand how it's so rugged on the side and like so random on the front end grill. Let's move along to the back end. You know what? I like it better than the front end. It's simple. The thing about the Lexus, and you'll either love this or you'll hate this, they have looked the same since literally forever. So like if you look at a 2010 versus the 2020 versus the 2022, they all look very similar. Some people like that, some people don't like it. I'm neutral. I think that the benefit is that the car stays looking newer longer. Um, I'm just someone who like likes some new fun things to talk about. So the back end's very simple. It looks like all of the Lexuses of all of the times of all of the years ever, but overall, I like it better than the front. I like that they tucked the wiper blade up here just to kind of clean up that back end. Um, that's kind of the exterior. So let's hop in the interior. Let's start with the door panel. Okay, again, this is just, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to hate on the Lexus. I just, what I don't understand about the cars is they're like trying to be like sporty and rugged on the outside and then they're trying to be like luxurious and like wood trim on the insides. And I just feel as though like the curtains don't match the rug. Do you know what I mean? Like it just doesn't all go. Anyway, so I'm looking at this from like a luxurious standpoint, cause like I think that's what they're trying to portray. I've got like a gold chrome bar right here. I've got wood trim. It feels a little bit um, outdated, I guess, to me. Sorry, I'm not sorry. But anyway, let's talk about our door cubbies. So none of those work, unfortunately, but I do actually like this like skinny one right here. I always find that's really good to like put like a wallet or like some trash. And then we do have two smaller ones that would work for like a water bottle. So let me get you on the other side. We'll talk about some more of the interior. Okay, so here's a shot of me in the driver's seat of this Lexus GX460. First, I wanna talk about the seats. Super comfortable seats. I actually like how wide they are. I like how they're hugging me. I think that they're a perfect level of plushness. I really like the seats. I also like this little armrest thing that you can extend right here. That's kind of part of the center console. I think that's kind of nice. However, you can't really have, you can't really have your cake and eat it too. Because then if you do that, then you don't really get a cup holder anymore. So pick one. The car has some good safety features on it. We have our blind spot, we have our backup camera, we have our lane keep assist, things like that. So I was excited to see that. As far as the design, again, it's not my personal favorite. I feel as though it just looks like an old man's car from 2005. 
not to be overly specific. And I don't understand how this goes with like that cool rugged running boards that I have on the exterior. It just doesn't really go for me. I think the infotainment system, I'm sorry, I think it's clunk city. They've pulled out some buttons, but like not the good ones. Because here's the thing, I'm sitting here, I was sitting here earlier, it was at 90 degrees. I can't figure out how to turn off the fan. I'm like going temp, I'm hitting off. How do I turn off the fan? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You have to go into climate and then you have to go here. Which maybe that's not a big deal to you guys as I'm explaining it, but like when I'm driving down the highway and like hot air is blasting at me, I wanna be able to go like this. Instead I have to go. And that's something that I don't have the headspace for. So I wish that this infotainment system was more user friendly. I wish they just would have pulled the entirety of the climate control out of here. Cause I think it's so weird that like I control my temperature and whether or not it's auto here, but I control everything else in here. Like it just doesn't totally make sense to me. Um, I think the navigation system looks outdated. I'm just not really the biggest, I'm not really the biggest fan of that, to be honest with you. Like even the clock, like it's just like a little unimaginative. So we can post a picture of what the 2022 upgrades look like. It's better. I still think they, I still think they have, I still think they have some room to improve though, for sure. I also feel like the screen's a little small. I don't really care for this like piece of car that then the screen is, that then the screen is put into because I feel like it's kind of affecting my visibility. I really prefer when screens are completely like more flesh and even like tilted towards me a little bit because this is kind of affecting my visibility like for me to glance at because it's almost like what too far behind me if that makes sense if we move down here we've got a little area that we could cover up and then there's a little like change collector right here usb usb c or sorry two usbs and aux cord at 12 volts our shifter which is just like so big like look at this thing just like, it's so old fashioned. I actually don't hate that because I know a lot of people love to like put their car into, into gear and some of us aren't like loving the buttons. I think that's kind of funny. Um, our cup holders, I mean, it's not a bad cup holder. It's just ridiculous that like you can't have a comfortable armrest and a cup holder. And then our center console is a pretty decent size too. For reference, we have a hairbrush, two empty water bottles and an iPad in there. So actually I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty impressed with the, I'm pretty impressed with that. We have a sunroof right here. Love that, lighting in some natural light. Love this feature. So we have our sunglass holder. Wait, is this not a sunglass holder? Oh yeah, we have our sunglass holder, but it comes with the little are you behaving mirror, which is one of my favorite features. So like if you're at a stoplight and you wanna check on your kids, you're like, hey, kids. And you could see anyone who's sitting forward facing. I think that's kind of a fun feature. Um, we've got a little light right there. Another thing I'm not obsessed with is how light this headliner is. So I'm loving actually the color of this interior because I feel like it's a light interior without being overly white. I love that they then included black floor mats with this lighter interior because I think that keeps the car looking newer longer. I even like how like all of this is black. I wish the headliner would just be a tad darker in a different material because I'm, it just looks like something that would get so dirty. Like you touch that with spray tan hands and you're done. Cheeto dust, you're done. You're done. So anyway, that's these two seats. Let's hop in the second row and take a look at the car seat setup. Okay, so let's chat a little bit about the car seat setup in the second row. So I have lower anchors on either outboard seat and then I have tether anchors across the bench. Pretty standard for a second row. I have installed this Britax One for Life click tight rear facing with the seat belt and I brought a click or booster seat and I've installed it with the lower anchors just to give you just to kind of give you guys an idea of space. So I have this seat set for myself. I actually have a pretty decent amount of room. I would say I push my seat a little bit more forward than normal, but I was actually still pretty comfortable. And I've got some great room. What I'm gonna try to do now is go around the Britax and try to sit in the middle. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so now that I'm in the second row, I absolutely do not fit in between these two car seats. Um, granted, this is kind of a bigger car seat, but I'm not gonna give this like an A++ for a roomy bench back here. This is just kind of, again, to give you an idea of the spacing when I'm in between these two seats. It's very small. Honestly, though, car seats are not, like, let me, let me flip right here so you can see it. Okay. Car seats are not, like, look at how narrow that middle seat is. That's a no for me, dog, to be honest. I am excited about the ceiling vents in the second and the apparent third row. We'll see what that looks like. And then as far as my other amenities are concerned, I have my own climate control back here, which is actually easier to use than the climate control up there because all the buttons are pulled out. And I have heated seats back here, which is fun. We've got two leather back pockets and then we have cup holders, but only in here. 
So no cup holders on the door. We have headrests on all three seats. They are removable. We love to see that. Yeah, so I mean, here's a shot of me in the second row. I mean, super roomy second row. This knee clearance is awesome. I just like love all like the room I have around my feet. I feel like as a full-size adult, I could like be back here and like still bring my purse. So I'm pretty excited about that. My head clearance is good. I'm kind of enjoying it. Would love to see sunshades. Hate that we don't have them. But overall, and seats are comfortable as well too, which is awesome. Let's look at the trunk. I'm really excited. Okay, so the trunk's a little fun. It's a little quirky. We love to see it. It's like a fridge. Um, I think I kind of like it actually because although there's no like power tailgate, I feel as though if I was a mom and my hands were full, I could be like, like hip it. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of, I'm actually, I'm actually okay with it. I think I like it. This was a fun little thing I discovered too. Place to put an umbrella, I guess. Isn't that fun? These are like two little like secret compartments. Oh, this is a little toolkit. That's fun. Better put that back. But I thought that was kind of cute. Another thing that's a fun little factoid. So you could like just grab something out of here instead of like swinging the whole thing open. I'm excited about the trunk, I can't lie. Okay, so let's take a look at the spacing though. So this is with this apparent third row down. Um, this is an Up Baby Vista stroller. Fits well, fits really well. So we're gonna take the stroller out, I'm gonna take these mats out, I'm gonna put the third row up, and we're gonna see how, I'm nervous to say the least. I have not seen it. Okay, so we just put the seat up. Took us a minute, <laughs> took us a minute to figure it out. But yeah, there it is. The trunk space is LOL. I don't even think you could fit a gallon of milk. But let me take a seat to see where we're at. Ah, yes, the old knees to my chest sensation. Feel, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buckle. I'm just gonna like commit. Okay, and then let's pull this down. I'm beyond nervous. How much room does that person have enough? Yeah. You know, I mean, I wouldn't put anyone back here all the time because you wouldn't, it, it, it wouldn't be usable with how little the trunk space is. I am liking my vents. I am liking my cup holder. I like that they only put two seats back here. I, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna say. Like I wouldn't give it like a green, I mean, I wouldn't ride back here. I wouldn't put my kids in car seats back here. I'd maybe like put an adult back here every once in a while for like a quick trip to dinner, but like that's probably about it. Look at that. So like that's just what I'm saying. Like I'm not, that's not really enough for me in my lifestyle and my preferences. So that's a no. Okay, so back to the second row. Something that I'm liking is that this, so it's a 60-40 bench. So the 60 and the 40 are both on their own tracks, meaning that you can move the seat more forward or backwards a pretty generous amount depending on who's in which row. So I do like that. Um, to fold down second row, it's like a fold and release type of thing, which gives me decent access. I also like this like little step that comes on here. Not that, I mean, clearly I wouldn't need it, but like for someone who's a little smaller. And if all in all, it's, de it's decent access to the row. And the seat back there, Let's get another shot of the seat. It's really not that bad of a seat. Like it's actually, it's much bigger than the middle row, than the seat, than the middle seat in the second row. It's not that bad of a seat. It's just like not, it's just a little claustrophobic. Okay, so that is going to wrap up our 2020 Lexus GX 460 tour. I really hope to get my hands on a 2022 soon because I'm really dying to see the upgrades. However, like I said, some of the major things I didn't like about the car, like the trunk space, I know for a fact is still there. So that's a bummer. But as far as the drive goes, what's interesting about this car is it's actually a V8. It is a six speed transmission. So she has a lot of power. Um, it's a bigger car. I think it's a little top heavy. I think it drives kind of truck like it drives very similar to a car like the forerunner. If you've ever driven one of those, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a performance based SUV. I would say it's more 
truck-like. Lexus is, of course, known for their amazing reliability. The cars last for a very long time, which is probably one of the major pros about a Lexus. Um, and the good news is, like, if you drive one for a long time, they don't ever change it. So, like, you'll stay relevant for a long time because it'll look the exact same. And I hope you guys know this is just my opinion. I know a lot of people like Lexus. I don't hate Lexus. I don't hate the car. I just see a lot of cars, so I'm comparing it to a lot of cars, and it's falling short in some categories. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.